Oh yes, welcome back once again to yet another edition of Jamie Reviews. I am Jamison Michael, and today is a truly exciting day for me. For one thing, we get to review the newest edition of the New Balance 1080. But even more importantly, I got Tim on the channel. Now she's kinda like really fast, so yeah, it is lit, as you kids say nowadays. Anyway, the New Balance 1080 has been one of my favorite higher cushioning series of shoes. Ever since they added fresh foam, it's been solid for me but it seems like shoes start to change over time. So let's find out if this New Balance will continue to keep this shoe fresh or if they decided to go mess it all up. This is our review of the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V9. So the 1080 brings back a similar engineered mesh that is nothing special, but that's okay because it hits all the marks. It's breathable, feels good on foot, and keeps your foot supported, and feels a tad lighter. I appreciate it when shoes can get the basic things right. But what I kind of like is the step that New Balance took in making this upper much more seamless and clean. Not that I really had a problem with the extra overlays from a functional standpoint, but I appreciate how much more clean this shoe looks. The 1080 has always been that bulkier, clunkier type of shoe. But when I first put this thing on, I noticed just how sleek the shoe felt. Gone are the excess padding on the tongue and in the heel. The 1080 V9 feels like it just went through a bad breakup and got all motivated to lose some weight and get in shape and find her a new man. You still have that comfort feeling, but in a much more modern package. New Balance, you took a risk with this kind of change. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I thought you might have ruined the comfort of the shoe. But hey, I am pleased to say, you got it right. Now the midsole is where all the fun happens. Fresh Foam is New Balance's softer, more plush cushioning technology. Now New Balance always seems to be modifying their Fresh Foam formula. But skip all the technical jazz, the people wanna know, how does it feel? Is it still soft? Yes. Is it still plush? Yes. Now is it the softest 1080 yet? I would say not quite. When I compared the V9 to last year's V8, the V8 has just a bit more of a plusher taste to it. Now I had to wear them side by side to tell the difference, but I would say that the 1080 is still softer than most shoes out there, and I still enjoyed the feel. And I gotta borrow the words of Thomas from Believe in the Run. I would say that this shoe has a bit more of a snappier feel compared to previous models. Now the 1080 has always been my slower, longer run shoe, but this version has a bit more of a spark to it, and I'm not mad. The outsole continues to use a varying level of blown rubber throughout the shoe. The inner layers are a bit softer for a plusher feel, and the outside layers are a bit tougher for durability. They added some flex grooves in the midfoot, which is a good attempt to give the shoe some flexibility. And I say attempt because I don't think it added that much. But nonetheless, it worked just about as good as last year's shoe, so no major complaints. So the Fresh Foam 1080 V9 made some changes that I wasn't quite expecting. I'm a bit of a sensitive person when it comes to change. But I think New Balance gave me something that I didn't even realize that I wanted. The fit still has that wide toe box that fits my foot so well. The transition in the shoe has improved and the overall look of the shoe looks better. Now this is not going to replace any of your fast day shoes, but if you need that workhorse shoe that can go long and provide that impact protection, it would be very tough for me to suggest anything much better than this. Impressive. Thank you for watching and shout out to Tiny Tim for holding it down. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I promise it'll be worth it. Okay, I don't promise, but still, just do it. Like Nike. Look, I mentioned Nike in a New Balance review. No wonder why I can't get sponsored. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment down below your top end high cushioning shoe. For me, it's the 1080. Maybe the Hoka Bandai 6, but it's really close. And with all that said, be sure to stay in school, don't do drugs, and keep it tight.